So oh. um, I'm yeah. really uh, very excited to talk to you about Shorter because yeah. it really, it's utterly gripping. And, and I wondered for you when, you know, when you re- started to read the script, whether it was the same, it was such a page turner that you kind of couldn't put it down really. Yeah, it was, it really was. Uh, yeah, it really was. And then uh, when I was done reading it, I was like, is it over already? You know, and then I checked the pages and I was like, oh, there's enough pages. This is an actual movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was exactly the same for me uh, in that sense. I read it and I just I knew I wanted to do it. And I I, uh, I was happy about uh, Simon and we did. We did a uh, workshop with Frederick and others who are two, the directors and writers of the movie. And uh, I wasn't sure if, uh, then I, I, I didn't hear, uh, for a long time I didn't hear anything. And then Frederick and I met up at, a, at another uh, job for Danish t- television. And he goes, yeah, we got the money to make the movie. And I'm like, okay, I didn't even know I was in the movie. And he's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Of course you're in the movie. And well, I, no one's told me so. Cause I figured they would have other people doing the workshop, you know, that's so they were trying to cast in around a little bit, which I then at a later date found out that they were, they actually had other people in there, but for some reason, no one ever told me that the part was mine. So we <laughs> laughed about that. And Frederick, he got, I think he had like a miniature uh, nervous breakdown. Cause he was like, you are available, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> so uh, it's fun, when good you- stuff. It, 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 and, it, and it really is. And, and you are absolutely tremendous in it. Well, you all are, Thank I mean, very- We'll, we'll, we'll sort of talk about the dynamics between the sort of the characters in a bit. But with regards to, to Mike, I, I mean, the, the, all, all of the characters are so that sort of multidimensional, aren't they? They, you know, Mike, he isn't a good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's he is flawed. And I thought maybe for you as an actor to to kind of portray a part that is so layered um must have been very exciting too yeah it is it is uh, yeah it's like you said you, you've basically said it all but i mean it's uh it's a it's a he's a product of his environment and then that's how i see it and then through the movie he gets to show himself and the people around him what he was like when he was uh, when he was Tarek's age you know amos's age and uh, I think they have a great, I mean, it, uh, when he walks around in his room and see all his uh, soccer uh, prizes and that, he, he kind of, he, I think he's standing in his own room in some sense when he was 14, 15, maybe a little older. And, uh, and uh, that's just a great, when you read that in the script and then you start doing the part, it's, that's a great thing to have because then you know that you can portray him as, vicious and uh, uh, broken in the beginning as you want to because you have that to fall back on later in the movie you have that sequence to fall back and that's just a great cushion to have as an actor that you don't have to uh, you, you know you don't have to like compartmentalize uh, uh, certain uh, certain areas or of the part to to uh, and maybe that's a wrong description, but you, you can go full out. You can go full out in the in the uh, how, uh, what a big racist he is. What a um, his ego, his ego, and his uh, you know his dominant uh, male uh, attitude and all that. Because you have that drawback. It's just a great, it's a great thing to have when you start working. And that's the, I suppose that's the beauty of, and the um, the excellence in the writing as well yeah. is that you know, threaded through kind of, the, you, you get these sort of breadcrumbs that yeah. then help inform yeah. the whole sort of backstory of, of your character, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's really, really, and I think that's, again, I mean, I'm a huge fan of, of Danish drama and, <laughs> um, and, and, you know, what one of the things I always enjoy about it is that it's unapologetic in the sense that it's, it's prepared to say things as they are. And I feel mm. with this film, it holds a mirror up to, you know, that there is racism in Denmark as there are sadly in many countries. And, and you know, by 
by holding that mirror up and saying, look, this is what's happening in our country, then it starts a discussion and hopefully things can start to change. Is that yeah. something as well that you find yeah. was interesting? Yeah, in our case, it's more like this is a, the future to come if we're not careful. I mean, uh, we are not as, I mean, we, do, we don't have a, a, as, as big a problem as they do in the States and the whole, you know, the, obviously you've seen the whole George Floyd thing which happened after we made our movie which is just crazy because it's just like we did that scene almost like it was in the script you know uh so uh, this was a this was a, a dark future to come uh if we if we're not careful and then so i thought at least because then we are out there shooting a the movie and and just by being actors in a police uniform with our short haircuts and we had so many people yelling at us, you know, during the shoot. And it was just, I was like, it freaked me out. And I was like, I was so surprised that there, there's this anger to watch uh, uh, the police because that's, that's what it was. We didn't even have time to explain to them that we were shooting a movie. They were just riding uh, past us on mopeds and yelling at us and giving us the finger and, saying that now you're coming here to portray uh, a bad image of us again and uh, and we didn't even we didn't even get to talk to them so of course it fueled the <laughs> the 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 atmosphere of the movie but it wasn't a it didn't give me a, a positive sense of where we are as a nation in this and and um i mean interestingly enough because Tarek was was i had uh, the, the pleasure of interviewing him the other day and I hadn't realised that from the casting perspective for him, he was kind of plucked out of obscurity. And he yeah. is 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 a, a, a guy that actually lives within yeah. those kind of estates. Um, and I wondered whether for you then, uh, for you and Simon, um, reacting and acting against somebody where it, it's it's all quite raw because this is that's the world he lives in. How did that help? inform both of you as well well we could ask him about certain environmental uh, moods that where he grew up and uh but he's a smart kid Tarek is a smart kid and he's studying to be uh, uh, he's studying law and he wants to be a lawyer and i mean he doesn't represent the uh how do you say the 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 kids that are having these uh, anger uh, issues at those areas where he lives, but he's seen it and he knows it. So he was good at describing the problem and good at describing the scenario whenever we were. Uh, so he he was our he was our little you know inspirational bank so to speak. And um, but it, I mean I hope the best for him and I think that he's going to have a he has a great future ahead of him. And even if he wants to uh, and if he wants to act also, I think he's doing great in the movie. Um, but it was fun to, it was, it was weird to uh, see him, um, evolve through this process. Cause he started out as a nervous, you know, of course he's never been in this business before. And then he was like, he grew, uh, you know, half a meter just uh, doing this project. And I remember him being so scared when he realized we had to talk to the press. And now I can hear that he's, he's been talking fine to you. So that's, that's good. He's, you know, he, 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 did, he did very well, bless him, because he's probably just been kind of thrust into it, really. You know, yeah, yeah. He, did, he, he did say about, because I, what I, what I love as well is that, you know, that the dynamic between, you know, your character, Simon, and, 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 uh, and obviously Am the Amos character too. Um, yeah. And because I know uh, Tarek was saying how, you, like, you, 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 even though yeah, you, you he helped inform you about the, the kind of environment, but you were really helpful when he would come to you and ask for kind of acting tips and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a lot of that, and I know, uh, especially you know, just <laughs> all this advice that he came with, like a lot of energy, and then you have to like, I we talked a lot about saving that energy for when the camera is on you, and not you know, don't use all the. Don't use all the powder in the gun when it's not your shot, and uh, and all that stuff. And it was just uh, it was just a pleasure meeting him and all the other kids too. Isa, who plays Isa, 
is a great kid, little kid who boxes and wants to be a professional boxer. It was just a, it was just a, it was just a pleasure to be around those guys. Yeah, absolutely. And and with regards to the 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 you know, the two characters, Mike and Jens, um, yeah. they um, it's a, it's a complicated relationship there, isn't it? Would you like to yeah. talk a little bit more about um, about that, really? Yeah, uh, of course. It's it's it is the same thing that when you read the script and you know you're going to do the part, then you you have this uh, great uh, other lead part to play up against, and and just just having him there uh, fuels my part so much. So a lot of it jumps off pretty easy, you know. It jumps off the page pretty easy into how I'm going to do it because it it feeds off of his character most i mean most of my outbursts and my uh showing my true identity jumps off just being in the car with him being in the car with simon and i think we've both felt the same way because simon's character is very quiet long in the first half of the movie he doesn't say much and i think he found that very challenging how was he gonna fill that out you know and uh, and then he realized that <laughs> Just by looking at Mike, he 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 could, it almost played itself. So because uh, he, then he becomes the mirror for for the audience into uh, to this to my character. And then as the story evolves, you know they kind of switch places because he's he he he, he comes to uh, an infight with his own personality and his own choices in life. Simon does or Jens. Uh, and, uh, and 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 as we talked about before, uh, Mike is confronted with his uh, very stigmatized um, the perception of the world. So um, it's just a it's just a, a pleasure to have a, another another lead to play up against when the characters are that different. It's always a but this is like movie making ABC, right? I mean that's what makes you know that's what makes great partnerships in in, in movie in movies yeah. yeah i mean you got it that you are great scene partners and you do kind of bounce very well um yeah. off off each other I and i didn't that. know him i didn't know simon before yeah. and but i it's funny we talked about this and he didn't know uh, me other from like a few things he'd seen and i'd seen him he kind of break broke through in a in a leading role in a TV series for Danish national television. Yeah. Uh, and then, but I just knew right away, this was gonna work. As soon as I knew that it was him, then I just, I just knew this was gonna work. Yeah. And sometimes you have that feeling, because yeah. trust me, other times you have another feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and you just stuck. Sometimes you and then long very days. worried about, is this gonna work or is this not gonna work? And with Simon, I just knew this was gonna work. Uh, it's in, in like an instinct, really. Just, yeah. And, and because we see so many kind of different facets of Mike's personality, with regards to your sort of preparation, are you an actor that, do you listen to certain kinds of music to kind of get you in the right headspace? So how do you prepare? Well, it's funny you ask this. I, I used to, when I just finished acting school and was young and I did, a lot of things to prepare for whatever I, I you know I, I read a lot of backstory and I made up my own backstory about the parts and I listened to music and I meditated and I all that stuff and then I realized that it's for me at least it's it's a lot of wasted powder because when you when you come to the set everything is not what you expected it to be so I find it much easier to, to uh, be prepared for the whole story, of course, and be prepared for what the part is about and where does it start and where does it go and have, a, have an idea about that. And usually you have a lot of meetings also with the directors and also in this case. And then uh, be as prepared, but at the same time as loose as you can when you show up to set. Because you never know. You never know where the... Uh, what the buildings look like or what the pavement looks like or what the uniforms look like or what the bad guys you're going to be shooting at looks like or whatever the setup you don't know and if you have too many can you know made up ideas can be 
you can have you can start use your entity to to kind of default all those ideas that you came up with not to say that you're not gonna that you show up as a blank page that's not what i'm saying at all i have uh tons of ideas when i come to set but it's ideas it's not uh it's not things that i have decided for myself this is what the part is about and he's like this and he's like this because i've sat in a lot of discussions with directors where i've said where I've, i have tried to like pull it back to my own perception of what it was and uh, and if you ask me now i think that being an actor is you you are you are the the extended uh thought of, of the director's mind yeah you are and i know that i have colleagues I know that I have colleagues that don't that ne don't necessarily agree with me on this, but this that's what works for me. My job is to fulfill the director's vision, and I can't do that if I <laughs> if I sit too heavy on my own chair of ideas. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cluttered your head with ideas, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so and come as I come as prepared as I can, but <laughs> as, at the same time as open and as loose as I can. That's what works best for me. Yeah, you've just kind of got to sort of let it go, really, and just yeah. allow yourself to enjoy being in the moment and yeah, seeing yeah. the magic that comes from again yeah, that yeah. kind of act, you know uh, acting and reacting to the the situation and environment that you're in. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. And and finally, before I let you go, I just wanted to ask what you've sort of taken away with you from being a part of the film. It's so it's so strange for me to, to imagine that I hadn't done this movie. It's it's funny to think about it like that because it's it's brought a lot of uh, well, it's brought a lot of attention my way, and it, I I went to I went to travel around the world to festivals with this movie because it had a, it, it it's having a great international life, so to speak, and uh, so there's that uh, that that's all practical and just fun and. Uh, and great uh, publicity and all that stuff, but it has um, uh, it has uh, it, it's it's taught me a lot about playing the lead character because I've been playing uh, side uh, supporting awesome. characters yeah. for a long long time, and uh, and I enjoyed that immensely. But to be the lead character is a different exercise, and it's. It's it's kind of standing in the middle of the whole thing, and then uh, and then uh, uh, respond to the actions that happens around him. But you have to want you have to want to stand there in the middle. That's something I have realized, you know. And this has really helped me with that, with training, uh, training to just stand in the middle. And just, I imagine, like, so, so as well as the leads as well, your. Um... You know, everybody's looking to you to set the tone, you know, the mood. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, if you turn off in a bad mood, then yeah. you know, I know it comes from the director as well. But, you know, everybody's looking to the, the you know, the lead actors. And if you're coming up and raring to go and um, yeah. and also you're setting the right example for, for Tarek yeah. with whatever he chooses to do in life as well, whether that's acting or, yeah, yeah. or you know, it, it's turning up and being prepared and and ready to give it your your you know your all and be the top of your game yeah yeah all that it's true it's just yeah it's a it's a it's a completely different exercise than that than playing a supporting role because it's it's the the supporting role brings the energy to the lead part and the lead part has to receive that energy and transform it into something else so that the movie changes you know and the story changes and it's just so much fun. It's fun to do both, really. It's really fun to do both. But I've done a lot of the other stuff. <laughs> no, so uh, it's just, it's just, a, it's, just a, it's great to be there. And I'm, I'm very thankful for the, for the whole project. Yeah.